All right, uh, coordinate planes, all four quadrants now. Um, what we started with was just quadrant one where we talked about this quadrant here, starting at the origin, going positive, positive. Then in the second video, we started with just the first two quadrants where we either went positive or negative, and then we had a positive on the y-axis. Now we're bringing in all four quadrants. And I'm basically going to show you what that would look like in terms of a point in each quadrant and how you would get to it. So I'm just going to mark random spots on here. Like I'll make this one A. We'll put B over here. We'll put C there. We'll put, uh, let's put D here. I want to make sure I get a couple on the X and Y axis. So I'm going to put E right there. Oops, doesn't look like an E. Good enough. And then let's put F, we'll put F all the way down here on the Y axis, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get to these points and how we would properly write them. And I'll just write them in right next to them. So uh, I mentioned in the videos before, this line represents the X axis and that's why you have an X next to it. This line represents the Y axis. It has a Y above it. X comes before Y in the alphabet. So we're gonna use this line before we use that vertical Y axis, okay? So this point right here in the middle, okay? We've mentioned this in the previous videos. That's where we're gonna start every time we do something. Right here, we're gonna start there. That point is called the origin, okay? The origin. That's where we're going to start, okay? So when I look at A, I'm gonna do A first, I'll just go in order, and I start at this origin, I'm gonna use the x-axis first, so I go to positive two, right here, and then I go up one, two, three. So A is located at two comma three, okay? Positive two, positive three, we don't have to write a positive symbol, okay? We just leave them as they are. Now you'll see how that's different with B, okay? So for B, I'm, again, I'm starting at my origin, but now I'm going into the negative numbers on the x-axis. So negative one, two, three. I'm at negative four here, okay? I don't know if you can really see it on there. Let me See all those little negative signs? Negative, 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 okay? So I'm at negative four, and then I go up to positive one. When I go up on the y-axis, we're going positive. So for B, how I would write that, okay, really important, negative four, so I need to put my negative symbol, just like that, and then I went up to the one, so negative four, one just like that, okay? C, let's take a look. Starting back at the origin. Every time, it's just a pattern. Get to one point, go back to the origin, start there. Okay, C is over here. So I'm gonna go one, two, to the positive three on the x-axis, so let me write this in. C is at the positive three on the x-axis, but look, now we're going down on the y-axis, and these are negative numbers as well. Look, I'll try and move it in so you can see negative one, negative two, negative three, okay? So when I go to C, I went positive three, and now I'm going negative one, negative two. See, that's on the negative two. So when we write this in, really important, make sure you have that negative symbol. Positive three, negative two, okay? Here's D. Now this is the quadrant three where things are both negative. Okay, so starting at the origin, we went negative one, and then we went to negative two. So negative one, negative two. So when I write that, you gotta make sure you put your negatives in on both numbers. Negative one, negative two, All right? Uh, e, 
E is one of those ones that falls right on the X axis. So when I go to this, look, I'm starting at the origin. I'm gonna go over one, positive one. So let me put this, I'm gonna put it right up here. Okay, so E, we went positive one. And then we don't have to go up or down on that Y axis, okay? It's just staying there. So that would be zero, okay? Over one, up or down zero. Didn't have to go anywhere. Now for F, F, if we start here, look, you can see it down here at the bottom of the screen. It's on that axis, okay? So we're not gonna go side to side at all, okay? F is going to be zero because we're not going right or left but then we are going down one, two, three, four, negative five, just like that, okay? So important things, always find the origin. The origin is where the X and the Y cross, okay, where they intersect, okay? So find that origin, start there, always start there, and either go right or left, first and then go up or down okay remember positives negatives make sure you're paying attention to those numbers on the line okay and you remember you have to put the negative symbol if you don't if you just wrote one two okay that would be one two that would be this point up here that point is a lot different from that point Okay, so it's really important that you have those negatives if you need them. Okay, so that is a coordinate plane with all four quadrants.